Okay, what do we got? Ask me how I'm doing. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. I think everybody's tired. It's a bit of a grind. Good things aren't happening as fast as we want them to, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Okay. Uh, CPI came in low. U.S. manufacturing indexes are coming in low as well. That's a recessionary sign. That's good for us, bad for the economy. Uh, retail sales report by the time you're here watching this. Jobless claims later this week. Wednesday's a federal holiday. It does not count among your trade counting days and things like that. Yeah, your contract dates. It's not going to count. We are still open in the office, though. Uh, if you want to be here, I'll be here. Alex will be here. Patrick will not. I'll be here. I'll be here. Oh, you'll be here. Okay. Uh, talking about what the Fed said they're hopefully going to do, which is one quarter point interest rate reduction this year. Mortgage rates aren't locked in with those, but if they were on a six hundred thousand dollar loan, that's ninety eight bucks a month. That's not that's a not seismic that. move, and we don't have the time to wait for the market to come to us. So we're going to hop in a time machine right now and take a look at rates six and a half on a 30-year fixed conventional, upper fives, FHA, VA, USDA. How are we getting this? We're getting this with upfront lump sum prepaid mortgage interest, also called discount fee. Okay. I'm really hesitant to price anything at zero discount because that doesn't get people thinking. And thinking about this, it's not 2%, 1.25%. We're in the middle sixes here. One and a half, that's I'm going to have discount, upper fives, and it's just not something that we can omit from our strategies, I don't think, anymore. Have you? When was the last time you closed a loan without a discount point? Uh, I did last week because mm -hmm. she's going to sell her house and not make five or six payments on the loan. So we priced okay. it the other way. Okay. I priced it so high that I was able to give uh, closing cost concessions and pay some closing costs because she's not going to have the loan long enough. Anybody that's going to have the loan more than two years, okay. the discount pays for itself. It's my job to do that calculation. It's not okay. something you want to get too deep into. Okay. But right. It's necessary. Okay. Okay. So, sale fails. Doing one of these right now where something's wrong. We got a leaky bathtub uh, bringing water into the ceiling of the first floor. We don't have to do a renovation loan. We don't have to stop the train. We're going to close on time using escrow holdbacks. Escrow oh. holdbacks happen when we have an issue with the closing. And then underwriting says, okay, if you get that fixed by a contractor within one or two months of closing, we're okay with having the home close without that having been done. So, I didn't know you did escrow holdback, so yeah. that's good. So do you, it's the cost of the contractor plus? 15% usually. 15%. They pad that cost, and so okay, the title company holds that money, retains it from proceeds after closing or however they want to divvy up the repair. Sometimes it's borrower funds that do it. Okay. But the title company holds on to it. We get the work done. We send the appraiser or inspector back out. Show me something said it's been fixed. Okay, pay everybody. We're fine. We closed on time. And we can't put a swimming pool or anything like that. But typically, it's going to be electrical, drywall, uh, putting a fence in, pouring okay. a driveway, things like that. Have you had any experience with that? Oh, septic. An entire septic system. Okay. Yep, done it. So let's, it's, been, it's been a couple years, but yes. Yeah. So let's save some deals. Awkward ending. <laughs> okay. <laughs>